Ah, Lutaku, the beautiful reminder of why couriers hate so much delivering monthly subscription boxes. And Lutaku being the biggest of them all, the Lutaku box every single month delivers you a selection of animes and other things as well, as we've certainly seen in previous instances as we've opened up this giant behemoth. Now, I believe this is Lutaku for November 2018. Without further ado, I'm going to get this, go ahead and get this opened up because you don't want me just sitting here yammering away. You're like, stop yammering away. We want to do other things. We've got places we need to go. I got a bowling date happening this afternoon. I can't wait. Well, I don't want you to wait for me. So I'm going to go ahead and open this right now. And we're going to figure out what inside, what did we get inside for November 2018? Usually we get statues, t-shirts, collectibles, all that glorious stuff. Let's see what we got inside this month's box. Okay, so what I'm seeing is, first glance, because you can't really see other than maybe just the top here, what I'm seeing is very Dragon Ball heavy. A lot of people let out a hurrah! Dragon Ball heavy! That works out perfectly for me. First thing we are looking at is the Bandai Dragon Ball art. I believe that is Goku on the front. I'm not 100% certain. There's all the characters on the back. Does it come with something? It feels like it comes with like gum. Delicious, delicious gum, which I have had in instances past, not specifically from this one, but I have had gum before. <laughs> Who hasn't had gum before? Somebody, one lone person puts up their hand. I, I haven't had gum before. There's the gum. It's sort of the same gum that we get with a lot of anime collectibles that come with gum. Sort of like the equivalent of uh, a chiclet. Do they even sell chiclets anymore? That was staple go-to gum for me. Or dentine. Was it dentine another one? Anyways, here's the art print that we got. It looks like it's got all this extra graffiti on the back, like a sprinkling of birthday sparkles. There's the print. Is that... Hmm... Is that Vegeta? Somebody right now is yelling out, No, it's not Vegeta! Actually, it might. I think it is Vegeta. It doesn't even say, unfortunately, on here. It's a nice-looking nice, nice print because it incorporates some nice... Uh, watercolors. It almost looks like somebody has taken a watercolor paint and painted this over top of a regular ink drawing. Maybe that's exactly what it is. Maybe I've just described literally what this is. It's on a thick card. Uh, it's a, actually quite a thick card. Put this out on display. You can put a little uh, hanger on the back of it. By the way, if you are wondering what happened, I was attacked by a small pack of rabbits. I know it sounds funny on paper, it sounds funny for even, for even me to say it. Just walking through the park, just minding my own business like I normally like to do, attacked by a, a pack of rabbits. So don't let the cuteness fool you. Those rabbits get pretty gosh darn vicious. Next thing we're gonna have a look at is it kind of looks like a towel. Open it up as best as, as I can because of course I'm gonna run out of space real fast. <laughs> real fast. It is, can you see that? It is a silhouette. Now I'm holding it up, here's the top. Here's about halfway, and then it goes another half of that on top of it. Looks like it is of a character that's pulling, about to pull out a sword. Again, I'm not sure the character, I'm, I'm certain they're super sane their way right now. Somebody's like, oh, this is so cringe. Beautiful looking towel though. Just to show you on the back there, this is what the back of the towel looks like. I don't know if I would suspect that this be something that you would want to use at showers. No, not no, not baby and wedding showers, but, you know, washing yourself, bar of soap. That's the sound that soap makes, by the way. Probably don't want to use that for that. I would say more display towel than functional towel. What do we have here? This is the Grandista, and it says the Resolution of Soldiers, Sun Gohan. That's pretty cool. On the back, there's drag. I guess that would be the front. I was looking at it from the back. There's the front of it right there. Resolution of Soldiers, Dragon Ball Z, and Sun Gohan. This one, of course, will require some assembly, so I'm just going to move the non-washing towel out of the way. 
And let's go ahead and get this opened up. I think there's some tape on the side. Did I even just, did I even announce that Old Red was joining us for this review? If not, I apologize. More so my apologies extend out to Old Red over that one. I'm so sorry, Red. I didn't even say that you were joining us. Oh, it looks like there's two heads in there because two heads are better than one. How many, how many other pieces? Oh my God, this whole, almost, it's, it's almost as if we've got two figures in here. I think we only have one. Uh, we got a cape, we got a body, we got a base, we got a stand, we got some arms, and we've got ourselves two variations of the head. Taking old red and making short work of the plastic. Was that, a, was that what you could consider a careless cut? Was it a careless cut? I just sort of willy-nilly right across the package. Didn't make that noise though, but... So there's the base. We'll put that right there for a second. Luckily, it does stand, even though I am going to use a display stand, which it does come with. If it's there, I might as well use it. There's the display stand. That's going to go to the back of the foot, just like that. Sort of just wedges in there. Not overly intrusive, but enough for it to for enough for the foot to know, hey, I'm there. I got your back, Jack. Uh, again, nice looking uh, display base. I nice torso. Of course, missing an arm, missing two arms, missing a head. Paint is glorious, though. It, I mean, the way it's painted, you can see all the under areas painted in dark purple. The top area, where you would almost imagine a light source is currently hitting this and glistening over top of it. It does actually look like there's light hitting it. I think that's really neat. Can't spend the whole video talking about a torso. We gotta do some stuff with that. We gotta add some arms. We gotta add, of course, the heads. We're gonna not add two heads at the same time, but we'll have two variations of the head that we can add. There's one. There's the other one. And while we're at it, why don't we also get the arms out? It looks like there are two arms. Somebody's yelling for, no, no, let me finish, let me finish. There's two arms that are just draping to the side. And then there are more, I don't want to say, I guess flexing? Flexing would be a good description to use for this. Flexing arm one. Flexing arm, hold on, hold on. Flexing arm number two. And as much as the airbrushing was done nicely on the torso, we'll just leave the stand back there. Look at the airbrushing that's also been done on the individual arms. And just to give you the variations, there is the straight arm, there's the bent arm. I guess you could put the two variations of the arms together. You don't have to necessarily come from the school of, well, I have to use two straight arms. That's what they intended, so I'm gonna, gonna use that. No, you don't have to. You can use whatever you wanna use. If, for example, it comes with two arms, no one's telling you you have to necessarily use this arm, but I'll show you what it looks like. We'll pop those off and we'll replace it with these arms. There you go. We're just sort of building up his energy. Uh, then we've also got the, looks like a cape, almost like a robe. We'll go ahead and open that one up next. And get that all out. This is something that's gonna fit over top of here. And just to prove a theory correct, because I thought, okay, maybe you need the straight arms to use this, use this cape very nicely painted cape. But no, you don't. You can use the straight arms or you can use the bent arms. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so let's have a look at the heads. Two heads are better than one. So you get two variations of the head. I guess one is the Super Saiyan version. And then we have the regular one, regular Sun Gohan. Just to show you what they look like. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that this head is to go with this cape. I'm just showing you the two variations. Um, in the the artwork here on the back of the, or the front, the sides and the back, they used this head to go along with this, this cape. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing. Gotta be kosher after all. But if you wanna go without the cape, sans le cape, we're gonna go ahead and take that off. I'm gonna take the arms off too sh to show you that you can, again, alternate if you want. There's no written law that you says you have to. So we're going to use that arm. And why not? We're going to use the other straight arm. 
And here's the other head. I'm gonna pop that into place. It's a pretty seamless way that they've connected the head because the jawline, of course, can be a cut. And then where they've got the hair ending can also serve as, as a cut to where the head attaches to the neck. It's kind of a smart way to make it look like it's pretty seamless. Paint on the face is really nice, I like the eyes. Kind of of the two, I think I would prefer this head sculpt myself to this head sculpt. But overall, a neat looking statue. And what I like is options. I'm all about options. What else do we have in this box? There's still more. There's a t-shirt. And the t-shirt is... And in case there is that chance where, that off chance where I may have misnamed a character, one beauty of it is the Lutaku card will t inside will tell me as well. So we got ourselves a t-shirt. Oh, that's a neat looking t-shirt. It looks quite good on the black backdrop. No, not my backdrop. My backdrop's blue, but the black backdrop of the t-shirt. Is that Goku? <laughs> that would be my default go-to is Goku with every answer. It does look like Goku, though. Neat looking use of oranges, yellows, and reds. And what else do we have in here? I think, other than, other than a pin, and the pin telling us this is the Lutaku Dragon Ball exclusive limited edition enamel pin released of 500. That's it. 500. Individually numbered Kid Goku on Nimbus. There's the back of it right there. I guess the number would be on the inside. You know what? I'm curious. I would imagine it'd be on the inside of the pin. So I'm going to take the rubber ends off. This is certainly something I should have thought about sooner because I cut the nails, my nails. Ugh. Didn't get myself a manicure. I should really get myself a manicure. No, I won't get myself a manicure. 324 out of 500, this limited edition pin, which has some nice elevation to it. It's not one smooth surface. Glistens underneath the light. Some nice glittering that they've added to the cloud as well. And there is the number sequence under on the back side. Then we got ourselves the card. Look at the mess I've made. I'll just move the t-shirt and the pin just out of the way here for a second. This is actually the October box. I said no, I said November. It was the October box. Lutaku, the October 2018 box entitled Saiyan Legend. Uh, of the things we got, we got the Ban Presto Grandista Resolution of Soldier Super Saiyan Gohan with two variations, two different ways to display the statue. We also got the Lutaku Exclusive. This is the uh, Throw Blanket Polyester Fleece Super Saiyan Trunks. Oh, it was Trunks. Lutaku Exclusive Limited Edition 500 only. Goku uh, Genki Dama and Uzaro Vegeta. I, I did, what did I say? Go. Well, I did say Goku. Okay. All right. Featuring one of the many iconic scenes from the Vegeta saga in Dragon Ball Z. It's Goku summoning the Genki Dama after Vegeta has turned into his Ozaru form. All of our t-shirts are numbered individually. To make it extra special, you'll find a unique limited edition number on the bottom corner of every t-shirt. Oh, I didn't know that. Let's have a look there. On the bottom of the t-shirt. Okay. Oh, there it is, right there. 193 out of a potential 500 limited collection. That's pretty good. I can't help but notice, I'll say this point first, we got also the Lutaku limited edition pin, 500, Kid Goku on Nimbus. Okay, the other thing I was gonna say, according to this, we were supposed to also get Dragon Ball Shikishi Art Series 6. Oh, okay, and that's what this was. Aha, uh -huh, you see. It's all come together now. Shikishi Art is a collection of illustrated printed on Shikishi, is it Shikai, Shikishi? Shikishi paperboard and drawn in black ink style. Received one of 16 amazing illustrations. And certainly it was an amazing illustration. That is really neat. Uh, it also does, and I'm, I like the fact that Lutaku always does this, it breaks it down by price point. So if you want to know how much everything was together, collectively, the Gohan was 30 US dollars. The throw blanket was 20 US dollars. 
Uh, the t-shirt was 20, the Shikishi art print was five, and the pin was 12. Total estimated value of the box was 87 US dollars. That's not bad at all. If you'd like to subscribe to Lutaku, it's simply a case of heading over to www.lutaku.com. Today we were having a look at the October box, which I think a lot of it can be chalked up to the fact that my post service, no, no, not the one that I own, I don't own a postal service, but the postal service here in Canada has been striking, not striking, striking again, we don't we know what we want, we want more money, apparently we have enough money, now we want more money, now we want longer vacation times, I, I don't know. But as a result, some of these subscription boxes, unfortunately, like the Lutaku box, may have been delayed along the way. So that would also explain why it. Uh, I'm looking at the October box. And if you're looking at the calendar right now, you'll probably see that we're in December. So we're a little behind, but that's okay. Today, we were having a look at the, the Lutaku October 2018 box entitled Saiyan Legend. Speaking of subscribing, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. More unboxings, hopefully, within a timely matter, will be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.